everybody, it's Kyle from Salt Agronomy, and it's fungicide time in corn. So, a lot of questions coming in about what do we do with fungicides? Are we, should we be spraying them? So, when we look at fungicides, the first thing I always look at is corn susceptibility or what we call the disease resistance, um, you know, or hybrid tolerance to disease. And each hybrid has different tolerances to different, uh, different fungal pathogens, we'll just say. So, which ones do we do? Right now, I, I can't really tell you 100%. You know, what I would be doing is, you know, if you plant out a fungicide, let's stick with that fungicide. If you have a lot of corn on corn with a lot of residue, uh, maybe we'll stick with that fungicide. You have a BMR hybrid. You know, the things that are most susceptible to, to fungicide or to, to disease, that's where we want to focus our attention. Now there's always this talk about response to fungicide, um, you know, and when we talk about that, we're also talking about the corn price skewing that a little bit more. So what's our probability of return? We went away from probability of return, you know, now the universities talk about our uh, probability of breaking even. So our, our probability of breaking even right now at $5 corn is about 70, 80%. So there's a pretty good chance that we're at least gonna break even on this application. Um, I mean, the biggest thing is just just look at disease resistance or hybrid tolerance to different disease pressures. Um, look at your rotation, base it on that. The other thing, like I said, is if you have a plant of fungicide, it's time to pretty much worry about getting that on. Um, right now we're just entering tassel and to me with the unevenness in fields and the, the lack of disease presence, we, we don't have the complete four or three parts of that triangle. You know, we have hosts right now we have potentially the weather but not as much and we have the pathogens the pathogens are always going to be there so we haven't quite completed that triangle so what i would say is if we're going to look towards maybe uh tar spot or any other any other disease showing up want to err on that that later side maybe leave a little bit of that residual late so that would mean we're going to go after brown silk so that's kind of the notes of what we have right now. I mean, to me, it's it's not necessarily a no-brainer. I think there's definitely a lot of decisions to make there. We need to be focusing on making the right decision. Um, it's not that you're always going to gain money. There, there's this this thing where years where fungicide pays big, and if you miss out on that one year, it pays big. Then it, it pretty much wipes out all the other years. Yeah, um, I don't know if this is going to be the year that it pays big. I think this might be a year where we make you know some decent money and more we'll break even on it. And yeah, so that that's that's corn. Now we're going to talk about soybeans. So the other side of that is I think that in soybeans the data is not as conclusive. There there's some people that say there is. Uh, there's some people that say it, it pays every time. I don't think the data is really as conclusive in soybeans as it is in corn. So what do we do with soybeans? I, I think another one too is, is look at susceptibility. Uh, right now we're in that part of the year where we would start seeing white mold infest the plant. Ground's not really all that wet, so we're probably not gonna have a huge white mold year this year. Uh, maybe in some spots, but I, I highly doubt it'll be a bad year like it, it has been in the past. So if we don't have white mold, what are we going after? Um, you know, frog eye leaf spots, some of these other uh, foliar diseases. Are we gonna see a huge return in soybeans? I mean, it's it's really, you know as good as I do, when you look at soybean plants themselves, what is it gonna yield? You know, you have a really good looking soybean field and that's your best yielding field. The odds of that happening are pretty slim. Usually it's the worst looking bean fields that are almost our best yielding. So do we wanna put a fun, bunch of fungicide out there? I don't think so. Um, I, I have no problem with somebody wanting to go out and do some trials. Let, let's let's leave some strips and see if that helps. Um, you know, the other side of that too is there's a lot of guys that want to do that fungicide pass in soybeans. Since we're making a pass, let's throw some Roundup in there. Um, realize the Roundup label is going to be off label, so you could be doing more harm than good going out with a fungicide application and throwing some herbicide with it. You know, we all know what Roundup does. It, it's not necessarily the worst thing in the world, but if we shave five bushels off the top with Roundup. Um, it's not totally unheard of. It can happen. So to me, if you know you have a, a, a really bad field or something with soybeans, you're not going to improve it with fungicide. And if anything, you're, you're basically going to break even on the application. I know it really doesn't take much to cover those. I mean, right now we're probably at two bushels at, at most to really cover or claim that cost back on soybeans. 
Is it worth the risk? Um, I think in a lot of fields it's probably maybe worth the risk. Would I go out and do every field? I don't think so. Um, the other side of it too is it's just like corn. Make sure you assess that risk. You know, right now I really don't think we're gonna have a white mold year. Um, yeah, I mean, like I said before, with corn, if you plan on a pass on the soybeans, stick to your plan. Uh, if you have the inkling to want to do it in soybeans, then by all means, go ahead and do it. But at the same point, leave some strips, make sure we know what we're doing, and, and we can use some of that data for making decisions next year. I mean, that's the biggest thing, and that's what we want out of everybody, is let's let's use what we have to help us make decisions for, for the future years. So, and don't... <laughs> Don't base everything off of one year's data either. I mean, we've had years where fungicide didn't pay at all and no one wants to do it. And those guys haven't done it in 10 years. So really make an educated decision, base some stuff on yield data, really dig down, look at varieties and hybrids, make an educated decision. I know that the market's really crazy right now, but you can still throw good money after bad, even at the good market prices. So take advantage of a good year. And you know, if we have good weather and everything else is going great, Sure, by all means, try some fungicide. I think, you know, maybe half a corn. I, I mean, what it is, is just everybody has to assess their own risk level and, and what they want to take. So hopefully you find this informative. I'll catch you next time.